Welcome back to the Roadshow. This morning in the buzz, a new requirement is now set for students attending Barrington High School. Mm -hmm. I'm still eating my croissant. <laughs> All students are now required to take a breathalyzer test before attending school dances. And the decision has the full support of the police chief and the school superintendent. But Stephen Brown, the executive director of the ACLU affiliate, says, quote, I certainly think it's very unfortunate that the district took this approach because it's a slap at the students. It shows a lack of concern for student basic privacy rights. And he says it will end. The end result will be virtually useless in terms of addressing the schools, the uh, rather the town's alcohol problem. So, well, here's the big thing. Yeah. The breathalyzer is not designed to take care of the overall town school problem. Okay. Yeah. It's there to design to make sure that kids get in and out of that school safely and sober. Period. Yeah. Yeah. End of story. And as far as you know, a school being a democratic society. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but. It's a communist state, <laughs> just like your house. Yeah, one your parents, ruler. Your parents say this is the way it's going to be, and if you don't like it, tough. And the ACLU is getting mad at the school district for doing this, but the, the fact the ACLU gets mad they, at they anything. They get mad at a lot of stuff, and they sometimes I agree with them, sometimes I don't I agree, agree with them. This is an example where it's like right. you want to blame somebody, blame the stupid kids not, that are doing it. They're not what strip are they doing? searching kids. That's a different story. Yeah. You want to start strip searching them? That's a different story. But if you're asking them to come to a school dance sober and take a breathalyzer to prove it, I have absolutely no problems whatsoever with that. What at about all. checkpoints? What about like you know, like drunk driving checkpoints? I don't have a problem with oh, that either. Exactly. This is a drunk driving checkpoint, but for school. Now here's where this came from. There were five students who got drunk at a high school dance. One of those, those students wound up getting sick at a nearby coffee shop. And of course, Barrington has been struggling with the issue of underage drinking. It's been implicated in the deaths of four teenagers in recent years. However, I do want to say this because I've been on stories having to do with Barrington and obviously it's an affluent community and so people point the fingers and that sort of thing. Underage drinking is a problem throughout the state of Rhode Island and throughout the country. Throughout so the this nation. is oh, yeah. this is not a, a specifically a Barrington issue. Cool. However, there have been some high profile deaths because of uh, uh, of teens drinking underage inappropriately. Well, what would you expect the school to do? Just sit back and do nothing? Well, I think the ACLU thinks that uh, once we start to infringe on these students' rights in this way, it, it begins to open the floodgates to other... other. Oh, really? Well, last time I went to a football game, they infringed upon my rights because they searched me with a wand to make sure that I didn't have any weapons going into the stadium. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there any difference there? No. I don't think there is. I, I, I think you're, you're entering that school by their rules. Right. One of the it's rules a communist is government. Exactly. Let's get it straight. That's you know, the way it is. There, it's the way it works. The interesting thing is there are uh, a number of students who actually support this yeah, as and well. Yeah, and good for them. Because they're saying, you know, we're tired of this. We're tired of having to, this being the only cool thing to talk about. Um, and uh, and I have to say, I didn't drink until I turned 21. Um, that was a personal choice for still me. still have it. Um, Sean's <laughs> not a drinker. And, and it was just, you know, you I just, I never liked the idea of people having a beer in their hands and needing that in order to, to have fun. Have fun. Yeah. to loosen up and to listen I just think this number one if if the kids are hell-bent on having a drink and it's the dance that night and they know they're gonna get uh, take a breathalyzer they're gonna shy away from that dance and they're gonna go somewhere else and they're gonna try to find a place to drink yeah mm -hmm. that's not Barrington High School's fault But listen yeah. to this now another local town has become the first in Rhode Island we've been talking about this this morning to actually crack down on adults who allow right. underage drinking. As they should. Well, and, last and night... I agree with that. I never understood that mentality. Yeah. I'd rather have them drink in my house I don't so understand. at least I can supervise I, I, them than them being out all over the place at all times of the night and yeah. day, and I don't know what's going on. Yeah. That is the most ludicrous what it says. What it says to these teenagers never, yeah, it's like, is that you are, here are the rules, this is the law, right. but you're, you're beyond that. So, right. and, then, and then they don't stay in the house. They go to somebody else's right. house and somebody else's house, and then they drive home and parents say, oh, no, we take the keys, but you've already said it's okay for you to be doing this. Westerly, by the way, was the town that just passed that, this, uh, this social host law. Um, Courtney, I wanted to talk to you because obviously this is a hot topic, and a lot of people are going to be talking about it in the community of Westerly, Barrington, and beyond. So I was wondering what viewers are saying this morning. Yeah, there is a whole bunch of comments on here, so I'm going to try and go through them for you guys on both sides, actually. And this first one's from one artist, and she believes they're violating Barrington students' civil rights. 
And then this one comes from Jerry, and he says he thinks it's a good idea because there may be many parents who don't want to be bothered, you know, with checking on their kids' behavior. And Lisa says if it's keeping them safe and they're not drinking, what's the big deal to do a breathalyzer? And then there's another one from a Barrington resident and a parent of an ingoing Barrington High School freshman. He's not in agreement with the plan. He says he's okay with a breathalyzer for any student that looks impaired, but he thinks testing every student is a bad idea. So you can weigh in there or also on our poll here on Fox Province. Com, and we're asking, do you think mandatory breathalyzer tests at school dances is too intrusive? Your choices are A, yes, it's a violation of student rights, or B, no, if it's keeping the students safe. And you can also weigh in on Facebook. We've got comments everywhere this morning, and um, our two friends here, Courtney and Beth, both say no. Uh, they think that they should take one before entering and before leaving. So those are some different ones. Haven't heard that one on the blog yet. But uh, I'll be back in 30 minutes with your poll results. Or now I'll head back in the kitchen. Lily, what's happening?